guys at this award. Problem. Uh, we have 2 squared minus 5x uh, plus 6. Uh, these are very simple uh, problems. And one thing I want you to learn is how you deal with it. So if you understand the concept so the question, what they want you to do is put this example in the form like this. So we should have x here and number here, plus or minus, and some number here and some something like that. So uh, I have almost two or three uh, video on how to factor the, the problem like this. And what I want you to learn today is how you uh, solve uh, this type of problem. So the one thing uh, you need to understand clearly is the last number here is control the answer you want to get. So what I want to, uh, what I mean by that is, this one is the result of multiplication two number times it gave you six. The middle number is you combine or you add two number, and the one here is multiplication. Two number times two number you get here. Of course, we don't have a number on this, but uh, some of the example you're going to find one of the example has a number, let, let's say nine. You'll be able to, to factor this one in this form. Let's say x or numbers here, plus or minus. So if you know this, the last number here, which are the two number times it give you this number, it make it easy for you uh, to get the right answer. So let me show you what I mean. The last number is six. And what are two number times it give you six? So let's begin with number one. Is one times six equals six? But if we have one plus six equals seven. So what I mean here, those two numbers, they have to be Two number times this one will give you this number. And if you combine them or you add them together, it should give you this number. So one times six is not the right number. Why? Because one plus six equals seven. And what we have here is minus. Another thing also you want to learn on this one, because we say it's times. So those two numbers have to be a minus. In for you to get six because we know minus times minus let's say one times one a positive one that mean have two number have to be a minus in for you to get number six was positive and when you combine and negative one with negative one, that answer always should be my uh, negative, which is mean it should be negative two. And that's mean six, and that's how you should do it. If you're in an exam, one thing you should do to get it right, put, uh, 
uh, multiplication here, and then put plus here, and then put uh, times on number six. It will give you an idea that, okay, what are two number times? It give me the last one, and what uh, two number combined? It give you minus this number, and what are two number times? This one it give you this one. So uh, let's do this. It's simple. I just want you to understand and how you solve it. It's going to be easy for you. So I'm going to deal with the last number. I have six times six equals six. And we, if we combine, we got seven, so that's wrong. So I have two, uh, time is three, we got six. And if you combine, or you add two, time is three, you got five. And that's mean, I think that's two number we need, but it have to be, the sign here should be minus and minus, so we can get minus five. Do, do you see now what I was trying to tell you? That those two numbers have uh, to be, so that our answer should be should be x minus 2 x minus 3. And to prove that you got the right answer, you always uh, do a multiplication. So let's try that so we can make sure we got it right. So what do you do? You do the first one and the first one here. And the same thing with the bottom. You go this way, you go this way. And then you combine the result. So this one, let's say x times x is x squared. And x times 3 is minus uh, 3x. So we're done with the first one. The second one we're going to do 2 times x. So it's minus 2. It should be 2 x minus 2x and 2 times 3 and we know uh, minus times minus we got positive 6 and here we're going to combine the minute one you know what I was saying so the first one is a result of uh, multiplication and the minute one is a result of addition or adding. And the last is a result of multiplication of times. So we're going to get 2x uh, x squared minus 5x plus 6. So that means your answer is right. And that's how you deal with it.